All right, howdy there. It's Pastor Kurt from Christ United Methodist. Hey, this is Aaron. Today's daily office to Christ United Methodist is coming from 1 John chapter 2, beginning in verse 1. It says, My dear children, I write this to you so that you will not sin. But if anybody does sin, we have one who speaks to the Father in our defense. Jesus Christ, the righteous one. He is the atoning sacrifice for our sins. And not only ours, but for the sins of the whole world. God's word for God's people. Let's say thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. Amen. When darkness tries to roll over my bones, when sorrow comes to steal the joy I own, when brokenness and pain is all I know, I won't be shaken. I won't be shaken. My fear doesn't stand a chance when I stand in your love. And my fear doesn't stand a chance when I stand in your love. And my fear doesn't stand a chance when I stand in your love. <laughs> so here's the deal. Jesus, take care of it all. Okay, we're done. Woo! Yeah. That's it. <laughs> when I first read this this morning while we were doing sound check, I said, you know, my dear children, I write this to you so you will not sin. And all I could think of was, if I knew just writing some letters would help people not sin, I would pick up a Bic a few more times and just start writing, writing, writing. Yeah. But alas we all get creative and we figure out ways to sin even when we know not to sin and so we decide to sin anyway as does everybody else in the whole world and so we got this problem of sin going everywhere and jesus said it's not a problem i've already taken care of it take a deep breath everybody you are all right he's taking care of it so all, all we have to do is live then in obedience and celebration and thankfulness and if we do that, then everybody wins. Everybody wins. Everybody wins. Jesus is the atoning sacrifice for our sin. And for the sin of the whole wide world. That's the good news. How would your life be different if you believed that all the wrong stuff you ever did, that you didn't carry that anymore? What do you need in order to believe Jesus. Not just believe in him, but to believe him. Let me pray for you. God, help us believe you. Help us rest in your salvation and delight in your redemption and employ ourselves for the restoration of the world. Amen. Shame no longer has a place to hide. And I am not captive to the lies. I'm not afraid to leave my past behind. I won't be shaken, no, I won't be shaken. Cause my fear doesn't stand a chance when I stand in your love. My fear doesn't stand a chance when I stand in your love. My fear doesn't stand a chance when I stand in.
Mm -hmm. Sometimes things are better left unresolved. Indeed. <laughs> so, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, uh, if you guys saw me fiddling around in the front, there's a, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little microphone that I set up right here in front of me too. And uh, I, I saw that it wasn't on and I just realized that it's still not on. So I think the batteries went dead. Whoops. But that's okay. Um, we'll, we'll be fine. <laughs> So we want to thank you so much for joining us today here on this on this uh, is it Wednesday? Wednesday Wednesday edition of Daily Office. I almost said Monday. I don't know why it feels like Monday, but it uh, has felt like Monday since March fifteenth. March yeah. <laughs> Welcome uh, to Monday again. again. <laughs> it's a perpetual case of the Mondays. It's the Mondays. All righty. Well, we will see you guys tomorrow. So until then, you all have a great day and God bless. Thank you.